So you go into the the ivy, and Mrs. Ranker is behind the bird. She gives you a big smile when she sees us coming in, and you notice the the two little gossipy old hobbits uh, sitting in the corner again, uh, and they look at Liu Fang, uh, kind of sneer like at him. So, what does one do? Um, do, do, does Morin need to wave his tools at uh, Mrs. Roper? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't like to brag, but I, I'll go up. I'll go up and uh, talk to her and sort her out. Like, don't worry about it. Make sure you put yeah. your jibs away before you get up there. Oh, is that shown again? I should like. It's a shame I'm not a tailor. It keeps on popping out. Audrey's, um, Audrey's you're not a tailor. Well, by the look of it, your tail's out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'll go up to um, Miss Roper and say I'm here. Ah, you're back. Uh, how's it going? Like, how good, was good. Your, well, how's I'm the market? To, to sort your pots and pans out like I said I would. I finally was able to find some tools. They'll, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they should do the trick. That's fantastic. And she kind of hands you two big pots. And she goes, as you can see, the the bottom is a bit kind of, there's a hole here and a hole there. And the handle in this one is hanging off. And What about the pans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give looks me a... and goes, you sure you're not elf? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's got very good hearing. My apologies. Uh, I these pans haven't been sorted out since my husband around, and she winks at you. Oh well, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the, to fixing these then. Um, you need to use one of your back rooms. <laughs> oh my god! Not you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go. They haven't been used since my husband either. <laughs> So she goes, ah, I'll give you, uh, just want a drink uh, on the house because you are doing something for me, so I can do something for you. Pint, 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 please. <gasps> a pint of water. Yes. No. Ooh. Little Ale. Gil, grown a pair. Oh, you know what? The I'll join you. I'll have a mead as well. So she. I'll <laughs> oh, They don't do points, by the way. It's not Brie. Oh, half a oh, It's not Brie. <laughs> Keep on wanting to make my own. Three <laughs> cups of the finest mead we have here. So she gives you a tree and Morin's in the back and... Whacking away. Whittling away. Mm -hmm. So what are you two gentlemen up to? Drinking. <laughs> just but just uh, <laughs> we 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 wanted to make sure that our friends got here okay and was able to help you out like he promised. Ah, that's very nice of the two of you. So how's uh Mad Baggins? Is he still crazy? No, Gil, leave it, leave it. Though. Gil, leave it. <laughs> She's not worth a Gil. Hold him she doesn't Fine, understand it like you do. Fine. I had uh, heard that you were up in uh, Michael Delflin. What were you doing up there? Just that uh, Ada was, the, you know, the bounder. She came by. She was here uh, just as you left. She kind of popped in and she was just saying that there was, she seen you up there. We're just um, helping out with the gardening. Yeah, yeah, we, we uh, you know us, we like to do little odd jobs and help, as we're doing for you now, if you remember. Oh, so. that's very nice of you, is there, kind of making yourselves useful around the Shire, that's that's good to see, it's good to help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what else is a, is a human man going to do in this world, you know, it's it's all I can you do. You just cause fights and make wars and things, I mean, yeah, yeah. Some of us aren't quite like other men. <laughs> Certainly not you. <laughs> are you uh, uh, sitting at the bar or are you down at a table? We're at a table. Yeah, she's By came over and gave us the drinks, hasn't she? I'm a human. Yeah, you can, the two old women are kind of whispering to each other and looking over at us. And... <laughs> <laughs> Call the cat over. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Just Roper just goes, oh, don't mind them too. They're, they're fierce gossips. They know a lot that goes on around here. Ah. Have, you, um, have you had a word with them about um, Mrs. Boffin? What's, what's the deal with her? Have they, have they heard anything? Uh, if, I, if I mention Gerda to them and something happens, 
like it'd be all over the Shire by tomorrow. So we better kind of keep out our eye line because they're gossips. <laughs> they, yeah, they might, they, they might, they yeah. might let it And out. the way they're looking at you, I wouldn't talk to them anyway. <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't yeah. like me. I don't know. I, I can't can't think why, but they, they seem to have a problem with me last time we were in, so. Yeah. I wonder why. You can stay here and drink away until your friend is finished uh, scrubbing me pots and pans and <laughs> sorting <laughs> out my back he room. Is he doing the back room? He will be. Okay. Okay. That means... <laughs> <laughs> he will be. No. It sounded more sexual than it actually was. So, do we um, can can we have a little look around and see if we can see anything, anyone that might have any information that might help us? It's literally, just you two, the two old women, Morin and Mrs. Roper. No one else is well, there. All right, was, it's still was, the I afternoon, was... so everyone's kind of walking. Okay. And, I say, I say to like the bang, like I pull them in, go. Should we not go check out their house? See if there's any clues around their actual house. Um. Yeah, we can do. But uh, like stealthily. Yeah, I think. Well, I'll tell you what. If we're being stealthy, we'll we'll leave Morin here because it's not exactly a strong point. Does she live close? She does. Doesn't she. She lives. I'll say a ten minute walk. Oh well, yeah, maybe, maybe we could just go for a little walk, just to have a look, not get okay. involved, not do it, and just have a. So sh- shall I go and pop my head in and just see how long Warren's going to be? Just give a give us a rough okay. idea, let him know. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Not if you want. Okay, so just do, 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 do. <laughs> walking. <laughs> Morin, how are you walking. getting on? As you get up, you actually can hear that I'm I'm uh, fixing away and I'm humming a dwarven song to myself. Sing it. I'm like going like, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I've got actually this written. I am pretty good with a hammer. I have been known to use a nail, but let me get my hands on an axe. And that's when this old dwarf starts to wail. And then I start humming it as if there's more words to the song, but uh, you'll never know. And that's when I notice you. Oh, yeah. It, w- w- everything all right there? We fine. Yeah. 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 We were, we were thinking about going for a little. Walk up by a certain house with a certain blue door. So I wasn't sure if you wanted us to wait for you or if you prefer us to just go ahead and I'll let you know what we what we find. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this. Uh, how long is it going to take me to do this, Mister Dan? I don't know how long. It depends on you. I could take. How good are you? I don't know. I've never <laughs> done any kind of smitten stuff, so this is where your knowledge uh, is more than let me mine. See. Not my knowledge. I have none. So have we got time to go and do that, or is it going to get over? Give me, uh, what would it be, a slight of hand check? We'll be doing an investigation check, so. We'll Sweet. go with a slight, hand. It's a slight of hand. All right, cool. Um, I'm all right with this, I'm not great. Uh, I got a 12. 12, and it's going to take 30 minutes. Perfect. 30 minutes. Well, I said to him, I was like, yeah, if, uh, well, you know yourself, like, this will take 30 minutes. If you want to wander up and I'll catch up, which is yeah. if you want to wait. Well, ten minutes points. there, ten minute look, ten minute yeah. back, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, Morin, no worries. We, 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 if, if if we don't see you on the way, then we'll come back here and get you. Yeah, no worries. Best of Mrs. luck. Mrs. Roper walks in and just goes, ah, so uh, are you staying here, Morin? Uh, it looks like uh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll get this uh, sorted. So... <sighs> Don't worry, lads. I'll take care of him. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll Thank see you. you in. We'll see you in about forty-five minutes. Then, <laughs> will we agree? Yes. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how cold it is. Anyway. Is that a yeah. uh, in your pocket? Or are you just pleased right. to see? You, you, t- you <laughs> Unfortunately, two it's 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 my chopper. My hand out. <laughs> <laughs> what a quite a big chopper you have. <laughs> You want me to get out here and show you? Does he come as some sort of fanfic now? Come on. <laughs> you know, camping. L- um, looks like he just puts his arm around Gil and like his hand over his eyes and kind of walks him out. Like, oh, once he go. No, once see. he go. <laughs> no, no. You'll find out when you're older. Don't worry. 33. Right, so you just leave and you just walk up here under, over hill. And it's, yeah. just, it's like just a little kind of row of hobble holes and 
there's one or two just normal looking little houses and you mm-hmm. see one with a blue door and you know that's scared as one. Yeah. So there's no light on. Don't... So oh. she could okay. be either gone out or she could be just sitting in the dark like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't we I don't think we need to knock. I think knocking will alert her. Well, give me no, a stealth think... check. Stealth. Stealth, yeah. both of us. Are you sneaking up to the house? Or are you? I don't know. Well, what's what's you? Like if he's like you, just walking by. Do you think it's dancing. worth Gil? Do, do you think it's worth Gil you being sneaky and me either knocking or, you know, I don't want to being knock. a distraction in some way? We don't want to know we exist, do we? We need to no. sort of not know we exist. I just think if we go past him, it's like, oh, like, and there's, a, there's an elven staff at the door, Stair. Like, oh, you know what I mean? If we have okay, a just yeah. have a visual look at it. Okay, we'll have it. We'll have a nose from then. Afar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just an investigative. Yeah. Uh, give us. Uh, I'm just kind of glancing at this. Yeah, we're just having well, a look at the house. Walking past, you know. Slowly. Stopping yeah. time yeah. your shoelace and having a guard. Yeah. <laughs> Their perception or investigation. One of you. Perception. I'd say perception me if it was up to me. That's wisdom. what I'd say me. It's up, it's up to the two of you. You can, whatever one is strong. I will so perceive if that's okay, Mr. What? Lee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you start investigating, so was there kind of just glancing because you're walking? So perception. Yeah, you're not kind of looking around. You're just perception. My perception. 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 Is nine, okay. just so you know. <laughs> I got, well, bo, bo, 17 plus 4, 21. Yeah, so. I think the perception's plus 4, isn't it? Uh, perception. Wisdom of 2, and then I've got yeah. proficiency bonus, yeah. Yeah. I'm a 12 yeah. as well, so it's I just didn't six them. No, no, wisdom plus 2, yeah. And then I've got uh, proficiency in perception, so that's plus 4, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Plus two and plus two, so 17 plus four, plus yeah. four 21. Yeah, so you just walk by and you just kind of glance and you, you see, the, as I said, the hobble hole is kind of dark, so she's obviously not at home because the gate is still, well, the gate is open a bit, so the hobbits kind of lock their gates. Um, uh, as Mrs. Roper said, there's no garden, there's no mushroom tents, there's kind of a bit of some bushes across the road which could be a good place to hide and wait for which is a bit weird yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well that could be good for in the morning yeah we get there um, she leaves that's yeah. pretty much it like it as i said it's just like a row of hobble holes and okay all right so there's not, all right, I was not there of like a clue. she could be off doing one of our deliveries yeah so there's nothing untoward on her house. Okay, that's what, that's what I was hoping. That's I was a big orc you know. looking out the window. That's what I mean, in case, you know, it was way, <laughs> Look through it was the window to the gang of bells doing a ritual. <laughs> no, that's it. It's the mushroom god. A dark harbour hole with some bushes right, across okay. it. Okay. <laughs> well, it was worth a look. Now we know where we can hide in the morning. Hiding in bushes, yeah. Unless you want to wait for it to come back, but that's it's a stake out then. Do you really want to be doing that? Tonight. Well, we told Arden we're coming back as well. We haven't told him. He'd be like, "Where the frig are they?" Yeah, we'll come bounding down the road, all unstealthy, like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'm. Um, I'm <clears throat> happy with that. Unless you do, you want do you want to leave some do you want to leave some animal feces in a bag on a step? Just, <laughs> no. You know, just oh, okay. So, okay. Just leave it dead. Leave it dead. Feces around with you. Okay. He does, yeah. He's the type who does, yeah. There's dumb food in his pocket. <laughs> right, so he's go back and Oops. go back to the Yeah, IV. we'll walk back to the IV. Yeah, we'll, we'll tread back. Unstealthily this time. Yeah, we don't need to. Moran is sitting at the bar drinking, talking to Mrs. Roper. All flustered, rosy cheeks. <laughs> She, I mean, him. From a hard fixing of pans. <laughs> She's there looking how's at it, the, the pot going, I'm very satisfied. <laughs> how's uh, how's, how's the uh, pot fixing go, Warren? 
That was grand, grand. My back's hurting me a little bit, but yeah, yeah, it's, they're good. Like they'll hold a lot of water. Yeah. Did you have to get really stuck in there to give it? Oh, a good, really stuck in, like hot and sweaty, like you know, a few, yeah. two things got broken, like you well, know. Well, when you're finished your bit of business for me, maybe you can clean out my pipes. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm not. You need a plumber for that. I'm not really yeah. good with the old pipe cleaning, like you know. <laughs> right, man, right over his head. There's a man on the market who I think might he knows a bit about pipes, I believe. That guy Aldi might be able to help you. He looked yeah. like he was yeah. great at everything. And she's like, "Oh no, he's a weirdo." <laughs> yeah, I'm way more. Stra- you a little, you a little he's, fan as well. He's a strange lad. Anyway, the war for my word. That'll last you a good ten years, if not more. And but I'll be round anyway again to make sure. Well, you have to come back and tell me how you get on tomorrow. Indeed. Yeah, how, and so I whisper, shall we? how do you get on? Oh, um, not much, we, to be honest. No, it wasn't much, but there is a nice little spec where we can wait for her to, to leave tomorrow if we're going to be following her, so that is useful. Mm. We, did, we did gain that advantage. Mm-hmm. Emphasis on the advantage. Ward, <laughs> but other than that, it was just a plain old boring Hobbit's house. No offence, girl. I, I take great offence, but that's fine. You know? <laughs> You're too small to do anything about it. I've so always found them, exactly. uh, the Hobbit's uh, uh, house is quite nice, to be honest. Anyway. Uh, too, they're too low. They're too low. Low ceilings. Sorry. I've always thought they were a bit high for me, but... Uh... You're, a, you're a heightist. Hey, yeah, you know, hey, shaming that is. He is. <laughs> I know. I wish you wouldn't do it to me, but you know, I let you off because you're a good man, dwarf, man, dwarf, dwarf. I think I'm. A, I think it's yeah. I'm allowed. They, they don't mind dwarves for some reason. Sorry, that me that me having an effect on me. I apologise. Well, it's strong stuff. It? I, me with names, it goes. You missed yeah. my joke about minding and dwarf, but anyway. Is a joke? Is that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going? Back up to Bag End? Back to Bilby Bill. Yeah, we'll head to Bag End. I've got a feeling Mr. Dwarf might be a little bit hungry after all of his fixing, you know, oh, that... fixing of the band. Uh, all right, so you yeah. go back up to Bag End and you go in and the table's all set for dinner, but Bilbo is still not there. He's still locked away in his his study. But it looks like he's at there setting his up a dinner and you sit down and mm-hmm. eat it and just go to bed. He's got to wake up. How long he's got to get up? I'm going to get up before them what? two losers, aren't I? <laughs> what time does she go again, son? She goes just at the she break goes of dawn. At the break of dawn, which is, it depends what time of year it is. It's in the spring, so. <laughs> okay, well, then we get up a around good 40 minutes five? before that. Definitely in, in a yeah. half an hour before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we have to, I will go to bed early and not party like I normally do. <laughs> Party, I just drink food. and eat and just go to bed and just wake up. Yeah. The time you just need to wake up. What, are you going to bring anything with you or? Um, I'll bring me bow and arrows. Cordale. <laughs> <laughs> Cordale. We'll pack, we'll pack bring... a lunch. Yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring, you know, provisions to last us the day, meals, drinks, things oh, like that. A little adventures pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, pack. I'll bring me bow and arrows. Um, Morin, do you need to bring anything? Well, I'm I'm thinking if we're still gonna be in the Shire, um, maybe I don't need my. I never thought I'd say this. Maybe I don't need my 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 ring mail. But you changed, thing that, man. You huh? changed. I know. You can take the same life. stuff that you brought to Michael Devon, like your hand axe. Uh, yeah, I'll bring yeah. The, the the chopping wood axe. That can come in handy if need be. And, and what let's you just hope. In, yeah? I'll just go as normal. Barefoot and fancy free. Yeah, but you're bringing a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a sh- sh- short sword. Yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring that. Is that not a bit loud? my shield. On my... I'm the sneakiest guy in Sneakstown, remember? <laughs> Sneakstown. Sneakstown. Well, Sneakstown. What part of Hobbiton was Sneakstown? I apologise. <laughs> Neither North, you mind. North Never Hobbiton. you Hobbiton. mind. <laughs> it, <it's, laughs> they don't talk about it. It's very well hidden. Well, Gil, just so you don't feel uh, out of place, I'll bring my shield as well. 
The def- it's a defensive thing goes in the back. No noise. No mess. Yeah, so you strap this shield onto your backs. Mm-hmm. Gil well, has a short sword. sword and you have your traveling cloak. cloak <clears> and a hand axe. Blend in and a hand axe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll take my sword as well then. It's in a scabbard on me on me hip. It shouldn't get in the way. That's fine. Whatever you want, it's up to you. Well, you know, like we're going to the woods. <laughs> well, like, look... I think a battle axe would look pretty out of place. <laughs> whereas the battle axe is a little bit big. Yeah, whereas the it's a hatchet and... what I've got. Mm. It's a light well, and... they say throwing, but I'm sure you can use it and... Where are we going again? The bind Bindlewood. The bin bowl woods. Bin bowl. Bin bowl. Did you say bindle? Bind bowl. B i n d bowl. Bind bowl. Bin bale. An A, isn't it? Bin bale. No, it's an O. Looks like an A to me on that map you Don't told us. Don't argue with the. I literally DMI. have it here. Okay, that's fancy. Fancy writing. That's just fancy. Clippers. Yeah, it is. Fancy writing is very hard. It's like bin. <laughs> okay. Trust me, I'm God. It looks like it says Bindale <laughs> to me. Bindale, yeah. Well, Either way, it looks very thick. I know, but may be, bowl. That's what it's called. There may be, um, you know, monsters. We need to protect. There will be monsters. Mr. I heard DM. The, I hate yeah. there was dog skill. How dangerous are the woods? That's probably the best thing to say. Did you ask anyone? We didn't think, but... <laughs> But why can't we ask Bilbo? He lives around there. You know. Because Bilbo is locked away and he's not talking to anyone. Yeah. Well, just assume, yes, they're deadly. Yeah, they're I'm going to bring the axe then. I'm there woods the in the Shire, but the Shire is a big place. Yeah. Can I just yeah, point out, like, we're following an old lady around. It can't be that dangerous. Unless she's, she's a badass. She's a lunatic. I might regret saying <laughs> She's a badass what? gangster granny. Uh, she's got a past. She's an old lady, but she did things in, in her past. Yeah, girl, I'm going to bring that axe. I'm going bring the armor. All my stuff. <laughs> nah, I'll leave the armor. I'm taking maybe it. What are you taking? So a bow sword and a shield. sword for Liu Fang. Sword and shield for me. Plus sword and shield. Short sword. And you, what's Morin bringing? Uh, his battle axe and his shield. I remember the ring mail behind be stealthy. Yeah, it's, well, I uh, thankfully it's only the ring mail that messes that up. That's grand. So you have a big battle axe strapped to you uh, <laughs> underneath the cloak. All right. I well, think I stand out as a dwarf as is. So is why more focus on my beard. So you just wake up a uh, half four. You have a quick snack of sausages. Uh, mm, start. And he's head up to Overhill and he's gonna hide in the bush. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hide in the bush. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna hide in the we'll, 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 bush. Give us a stealth check. Oh, damn. Oh stealth. God. Well, this is all gonna be stealthy stuff, so you're just gonna have to roll the I off. was gonna say, is there any way we can make ourselves more stealthy, but okay. Well, um, if oh, someone bought the bush five. off a certain Aldi life, oh. <laughs> but it just sounded like he was tapped. It was just a bush. Right. Do you want to hear my? Do you want to hear my stealth? Is yeah. t- twelve plus three plus five plus four? You're joking us. Twenty-four. No. I'm the stealthiest two. man in Stealthville. Behind Gil. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fifteen, but that's only because I rolled a thirteen plus two. Well, I got a thirteen well, plus one, so mine's fourteen. Thirteen on the button. So he's all he's all past, so he's kind of cram into the bushes. She <laughs> <laughs> looks like his head poking at him, so. <laughs> Nothing to see. Okay. Uh... A little bush over there, put it on your face. <laughs> so he's all stuck in the bushes, and you have your hoods up, and they're kind of blended in. And after, it's like 15, 20 minutes, you see, <laughs> the, bush. You see uh, the door kind of crack, the door opening, and... <gasps> A little old hobbit woman, kind of with a basket on her arm, and she kind of looks around and closes the door and unhatches her gate, and she kind of starts going north towards the woods. Psst, guys, do you think that's her? I know it's her. Yes, it is. Unless she has a twin. We should have. That's another question we should have asked. <laughs> Does she have a twin? Does she have Damn. a twin? <laughs> 
If you are a horny dwarf today, sir. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> it doesn't help that we're currently hiding in the gutter, but you know what I mean. Get your feet, get your feet out the gutter. Come feet, on, let's feet. go. So she's a good bit up passes, and he's going to start following her. Yeah, yeah, we best have. Yeah, so he's stealthily. Uh, stealthily as we can, I'd say. Uh, give me another stealth check. Oh shh. Okay. Ooh, eighteen plus one, nineteen. Uh, ten plus two is twelve. What I'm going to do is, because I'll do it as a group thing, so at least two years passed, and I'll do but it. 10 plus... 10, 10, 10, 5 30, plus 20, 2 plus 20, 4. 22. I, that's great. Nice. So you are walking north, and you are heading towards the kind of border between West Farthing and North, north Farthing. And it takes... You are following her for a good... But looks for say good hour. Oh god. And in the distance is are getting closer to Bin Bowl Woods. And you can see the woods are mostly filled with pines, junipers, and yew trees. It's a uh, green all year round, so even when it winter it doesn't shed its its leaves. Nice. And because it's early spring, so there's kind of a couple of red flowers. Growing and beautiful. It's a nice little woods. So you just see her kind of disappearing into the edge of the woods. So give me another stealth check. Stop jingling, you dice people. Sorry, it's me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, it's me. Stop Sorry. Deck. 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 What does Don't travel do? Travel is when you are going long distance. One, you just have to kind of choose roles. So one will be the head of the group. Right. The kind of tour guide one will be a hunter to, if you need food, and I was one, 19. one will be a lookout for when you camp. So you each kind of have different. Okay. Gotcha. Roles. It was just that I have a better. I was tr- hopefully like because we're traveling to her. <laughs> I was going to try and see if I could use that, <laughs> but no. Uh, yeah, I, I rolled a three plus two is five, so I messed. Up. I got sixteen plus one. I got nineteen. Sweet. So you just follow her into the woods. And you kind of lose sight of her for a minute, but you just kind of catch a glimpse of her basket kind of disappearing around the bush. She swapped with her twin sister, Tony. Oh, no. By the way, did any of you bring paper or something to draw a map so you could give well, it to Mrs. Roper? Oh, I mean, I am a cartographer, so do I have that on me at all times? Yeah, you've got a cartographer. Yeah, you have it in your bag. So um, then, yes, I do. Good lad, Gil. Good lad. So Gil starts kind of sketching whichever directions they're going in because, as Mrs. Roper said, she's a tricksy hubby. So she could I of... use hunting to for kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Not for killing her, but I'm hunting her. I don't want her to see me. Would that work? Yeah, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Cool. <laughs> I'm God. Hun- I, I'm hunting my prey. Cool. So she that means can't... I can also keep uh, mentally, like, you know, if we get lost in, in here, like, I'll be able to guide us back, hopefully. Yeah, well, yeah. he's following our footprints, and, like, I'm you not... can hear her touring this, and these are map- mentally mapping and physically mapping where she's going. Uh, give us another stealth check. Oh, Jesus. And I can use hunting, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's... <laughs> She, this isn't a forced rodeo, like you know. She, <laughs> well, I didn't roll any better, but you know, it's she can pay. Why hunting six. better? Can I use hunting as well? 22. <laughs> can we hunt her instead of a <laughs> Can I kill her? Stop trying to kill her. She's kill. a dog. <laughs> I got 11 plus one, 12. Where did you get? Be very, very quiet. We're hunting boffins. What, what did you get in your hunting? We're hunting boffins. I deck, I rolled a two plus four or six. Oh, right. damn. So Can't win. Fail this one. Right. So you lose track of her. So God you're damn. kind of looking around. You can hear movement and snapping the twigs and stuff, but you can't see her at all. So give me an investigation roll. 
Only if you stop jingling, you dice. I'm crunching them. <laughs> don't <laughs> crunch them. So loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't get to use them. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry, a... Eh? A 14, including the bones. Come on. I forgot to take it. Is bloody intelligence. Not them. Plus, plus four, plus two. Six. So that would be... No, no, so... <laughs> He's got no, half Twelve plus six. Eighteen. 18. So what I got fourteen. <laughs> I got four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really, really not sure. Dice. Well, you, well, I'm changing anyway. the dice. It's, it's going back in the dice jail. <laughs> no, you passed. <laughs> so, you we passed. Our... We passed. Dwarfy McDwarf Dwarf can't sneak. Auntie <laughs> McHunter. <laughs> Listen, it was only like, I think, 10 years ago when we actually found out what it meant to be stealthy. But anyway, <laughs> just pick up our trail again. And... He's, uh, he's are heading towards our, our tracks anyway and uh, in a hunting fashion yeah okay. he's are licking twigs and shit something <laughs> peed here <laughs> <laughs> sorry I needed to go I'm <laughs> pissed here so yeah give us one more stealth roll Oh, and then different, different dice there. And Fifteen plus one, sixteen. Nine. Um, <laughs> um, I don't like the dwarves aren't good in woods. Twenty-two. Like, he's got about plus eighteen. <laughs> Twenty-two. But he's like, damn! I only got one, but I got twenty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It would oh, be God, nice. what I got a one, I get a nine. So the two years pass? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again. Right. <laughs> so is there, I'm just going to send you this map. Oh. Not to me. Yeah. The roll crap. No. Yeah. He can't see it. Yeah, Morin <laughs> disappears. He's lost in the woods. <laughs> Never oh. to return. So he's, there we go. he's make it oh. this clearing. And does ah. it? big hollowed out tree in the middle but it's very dark because the trees around the clearing are kind of making a canopy uh, and there give us an insight roll radio you know i've got a um, right down your mic eyes, also, maybe me. <laughs> i've got elven eyes which gets rid of disadvantages for dim lights does that make a difference to me there not at the moment no damn <laughs> right what am i well, doing perception well, perception. you can have an advantage because you have your elf eyes. Okay, so perception we are on, yeah? Percep perception, so you roll twice and whatever, the best... Wisdom. Bear with me. Oh, okay. Oh, you roll twice. Right. 13. Okay, so. Do we need to roll again? I've got 13 plus 4, 17. Perception, was it? <clears throat> perception, yeah. No, insight. Oh, yeah, 21. No, it's insight. I got 8. And a nine to nine. <laughs> I don't know. Is it insight? It was insight, sorry. Oh, insight. Oh, insight sorry. I thought it was perception. Jesus. Okay. So I've got 15 deck. Do I need to roll again? Or no. pass? Oh, I've got lots of insight. That's a pass. Okay. Um, so it's plus six. Plus six so it'll be 16. <laughs> oh, me. Pass. What, what did you get, Warren? Uh, 19. So, hey. pass, so there you see Gerda and she has a basket in hand she's pulling something from the hole in the tree and putting it into the basket and you can see that it's the boffin crop mushrooms and you are at the edge of this clearing so what are you going to do? Killer! <laughs> Hunter! No, we... Lads, Guys, I do believe she's up? using some kind of tree bank or maybe the mushrooms grow on the tree. Yeah, that's more likely. Um, you hear the tree going, take it, baby. <laughs> take it. <laughs> well, we've been asked we to find out where the mushrooms slow. are coming from. So we know where the mushrooms are coming from. Do we really want to know why? Or do we just yes. accept that this is where they're coming from? No. 
Well, I there might be other one. places that she goes. This might be the first stop. But maybe we yeah. should continually, uh, like, watching her and see. Okay, well, let's do that. Women, you, a, yeah. Let's do that in a hunting fashion and Indeed. see where she goes next. Uh, uh, give me okay. perception roll. Perception. Yes. This is one. 19 plus 4, 23. <laughs> 4 plus 4 is 8. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I love dice games. Martin's having a bad day. <laughs> Man, I, I, I think this hangover is kicking in. I, I don't think it's. Good. I, got, I, I think it might I got be. A, you know. I got a three. Got a tree. A three. No, there's a tree over there. <laughs> <laughs> three. Uh-oh. Plus what? You got any pluses? Nothing. No. Well, my, surely my twenty-three not, will allow my. I'm elven not eyes. a very. I'm not a very wise hobbit. <laughs> If you're a top of child, it's fine. He's there looking at Gerda, and she's putting the the mushrooms into the basket, and you have a sense that they're being watched. It's just like an uneasy feeling, and you just see across like the trees in the middle, and across you see a pair of kind of yellow eyes moving through the undergrowth, the far side of the hollow tree. Uh, give me an initiative. Uh, yeah. Initiative, yeah. Yeah. Initiative. Initiative. Oh Darren, my God. Darren man. knows what initiative means. I know, but my really? dice doesn't. <laughs> I rolled Where's a two. Initiative? So that's four. Where's initiative. It's right beside your armor class, just in the kind of middle. Of your character sheet up the top. I don't just know. Uh, I roll a d20. Roll a d20 and then tell me what you get. It's it's usually I think your whatever your dex is plus the d20. Dex. Okay. Well, I got seventeen plus one dexterity. Eighteen. Plus three. So whatever this is, plus three. Eleven plus three. Fourteen. Seventeen. There you go. No, eighteen. Sorry. Four. <laughs> I am not waited today or tonight. <laughs> You've had a busy afternoon, Morris. Yeah, it's fine. your legs have gone. Your legs have gone. It's not your fault. <laughs> those yeah, those, those pots of clams took it out with me. Yeah, yeah, what we've all been there. A fourteen. Some would say, some would say, after cleaning up some hands, you hands, you're shagged out. <laughs> I got a four. I, got I rolled really four. bad. So, Luke Van Morin. Right. <laughs> so, just as Gerda is kind of dropping from the hole, a big warg jumps out of the bushes, which a is a big, the warg is a big wolf. Yeah, it's the... They're ones that the goblins ride on. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So he jumps down oh, and just looks at. Is it Gerda. the ones from Rings of Power or the ones from the Lord of the Rings film? <laughs> I don't know, I don't Very know. important. I haven't seen the just big wolf. The, the ones in the, the ones in the movies are worse. <laughs> well, the ones from the movie then. Just a big wire oh, jumps no. and starts growling, and Gerda goes ah, and she kind of scurries up the tree because if you read the Hobbit, you know words can't go up trees. Oh. Does it actually say that in the Hobbit? It's been so long. It does, yeah. The cat, that's awesome. why when they escape from the goblins, they climb the trees because the place is full of wolves and they can't climb trees. Nice. Neither can go. Hobbit's apparently. the only way. Yeah, so the yeah, climbs really perfect. It's jumps down. out and you can see his, so he starts growling at you, so he's... Oh uh, Lou, you have to go first. You. Okay, I'll draw me bow. Yeah. Do we need I'll to fire the bow. <laughs> I will uh, shoot it in the face. Well then, roll for them. So what, what, are you rolling? Yeah. what are we rolling? Dexterity. Dexterity. Yeah. Dexterity. It's your plus wow. It will be your proficiency bonus plus your dex plus whatever you roll on D20. Have I got a proficiency bonus in? You should have written oh. in because it um it should be under if you yeah, yeah. plus one. Yeah, so, I've got five. So, so, so roll oh, D20 yeah. and then plus five. A uh, plus three on it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, because I think everyone should have 16. proficiency bonus too. 
Huh? 16, one six plus whatever it needs to plus. Three, is it? 16. Two proficiency bonus. Is it yeah, hit? two proficiency. So how many and points one. of damage does the bow so do? So it's 19 then, Dex. Sorry, not 16. Yeah, you get to hit anyway. So. Uh, damage says, ooh, it says 1d6. Let me get me d6 then. So roll your d6. Plus your Dex. Oh, is it plus your Dex? Yeah, whatever your plus in your Dex is, you add it to bow damage. And I've also got an attack bonus of plus one. Is that what you're talking about? I, I, it, yeah, you get you get your attack bonus from your deck. So if your deck is only plus one, you get that. But you also, I okay. think, if you're proficient, if you're proficient in a weapon, you get your proficiency bonus. And I'm. I don't think. Let's have a look. Proficiency. Very surprised of elves, don't or is that Elvis? No. I think that they don't. No, he's not proficient. That, that, is, that is elf. Elvist. Elfist. Well, I apologise. Then it's only plus one. Then you would have only rolled a, a plus one on a d20. Damn. I wish you being Elfist was real. I mean, I'd be getting a plus one. <laughs> right. So I got a four. What is it? Plus one, five. So that's five damage. damage. Yep. So it is Gil next. So this is a, so you hit it with the arrow, right? Yeah. In the can face. We te- can we tell how damaged that is in terms of? Did that, does it look like it's half dead or quarter no, you injured? Just, or... You f- fire your arrow and it hits him in the shoulder. Yeah. And just so goes, we never know how close to death he is. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll explain it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but Gail, remember, you're, best... you're far away, so you have to be five foot to kind of hit him with your sword. <laughs> He's only three yeah. foot. No, but <laughs> he can him. never use it oh, yeah, so because it's high. I'd probably best... Um, I'm probably just best like standing back with my shield up high, <laughs> to be honest. It's I'm just gonna oh well, you can move, will like, it you move and then you can attack as well, or you can attack and move in that way there. So shall we try and move towards this is Skader? Or could you pick up stones and throw them at it and see if that you know what I mean? If you don't want to get to if you don't want to go closer, then and what I'm gonna do to her, Borg. I'm three foot. Do you have a bow? No, no, no. Break, no. He's got a sword. I don't have one. Sword. It's getting in close a short sword. Climb up the tree after, <laughs> after Garda. Oh, I was going to say just move towards. But you can Garda move. And protect, protect. Whatever your speed is, you can move twenty-five. Down. So he usually yeah. does grids, and you can move or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I start. I okay. I start running towards the tree to try and like see if she's okay. With my shield up. It's the best I can do. Very yeah. defensive. So you're moving towards the tree. Yeah. The warg is well, just right to the tree. Coming towards them. Okay, That's but right. I'm not... You're I'm running like towards... Between, hey, oh, but the tree's the, between the me and the warg. Right, so you're at the tree. Them. That's grand. So yeah. the warg goes next. So he's... I've got my shield up. By the way. At the edge, so all he's going to do is just move around the right hand side of the tree, be s- and that's it, really. Okay. So, is he closer to Gil now? He is closer to Gil, yeah. Okay. Oh, sir, but I, I was like t- tree between me and the thing, yeah. Yeah, that's he was my, just a bit yeah, too okay. far away to kind of attack Gil, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, the look, fan kind of shouts, I'm glad you brought the axe, Boren. <laughs> Why are you shouting? I'm right beside you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's <laughs> annoying. Me too. Me too. the action music has started? Right, Morin, your turn. Hey, me, um, how far is the, how far is the, uh, warg? Away? Uh, well, I think went 25, so I say he's around 40. 40? Yeah. This is where I use some of my dwarf, um, bullshit. Uh, I'm going to use Surge of Vigor, and yeah. I'm going to do... What does that do? Well, Surge of Vigor is something that my uh, champion gets, that my dwarf is, and uh, it has loads of different things it can do, which I won't spoil, but one of them is, is you can use a bonus action to either take an attack, dash, disengage, or dodge, and I'm going to use it to do a dash, which means I pretty much get uh, double movement. So I'm going to use the dash to move 25 feet for free. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to use, I've got 25, so I'm going to move whatever I have to to get up to the warg. Yeah. And uh, then I'm going to uh, swing with my battle axe and hopefully hit the thing. But the way I'm rolling, I'm probably not. <laughs> right, go. Roll I'm gonna use, you're right. I'm going to use this one. D6. Uh, it's a 14, actually, thank God. Plus five. Good Lord. Which that's... is 19. Yeah, that's a hit. And it's D8 plus five. Um, because uh, hang on, let me just double check that. Yeah, because it uh, uh, it's plus three for strength, and I have a cool dwarven thing called jewels. I like to go out called dueling. So uh, when you are wielding a weapon in one hand and no other weapon, uh, and no other weapon, uh, you gain plus two bonus to damage rolls. And I checked shields don't count as weapons. There you, go. you smack him, so roll for... Yeah, so he plus five. So that's a six plus him. five is 11 points of damage. So how would you kill him? Oh, right. Well, I kind of just go... <laughs> ah, I charge and I like run up and just cut it right in the chest. Oh. And then I oh, go God. to go, Gil, quick, stab it with you. Oh, it's dead. I'm well, sorry, I'm weighing that. myself behind my shield. So the wire just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> like a power ranger's villain. That is just just <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna tell you uh, that that brings back memories. And the blood just sprays all over Morin. Uh, and I smile <laughs> evilly at you all going, that was great. And I shout <laughs> out, right, is there any more of yous? And there isn't. It's just oh, one God. lone wolf. So you hear Gerda up top, and she's like, "Oh my God, what happened?" <laughs> you can come down now. <laughs> Gil, I Gil, saved the day. Saved you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this young hobbit was able to distract it while uh, I finished it at off. You're safe I now. <laughs> Gerda kind of climbs down. Just one day, do does, she, does she fall and land on her underpants and give herself a wedgie? Is that what is that was going to happen to her as well? Yeah, I'll roll it. <laughs> uh, no, she glides play. down gracefully and she just oh, like Princess <laughs> Peach. Yeah. While she's uh, climbing down, I want to go over and inspect the the tree and see if she was picking them up, the mushrooms, or if they're naturally occurring. She owes us a life. She'll tell us. Surely. Give us an investigation role. Just in case she doesn't. Just while, while Any, we're here. Anyone else want to do anything well? Um, investigation role. Come on, high numbers. Yeah, let's no, just see. No, that's a five. The... Okay, well then I will investigate also as well then. <laughs> and you're investigating the tree. I'm invested. Well, can I investigate more than one thing? Can I investigate here afterwards? <laughs> Dinner in a movie. <laughs> I got, I got eleven plus one. What are you doing here, T? I got twelve. <laughs> what are you investigating? The morgue. See, if there's any clues right, so from like where? Aaron. Well, Morin just kind of he looks in the tree and he just sees mushrooms. Oh, this is definitely a tree with mushrooms, lads. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> There's no game. Well, Lupin, Lupin goes, stand back, I'll look. And he kind of scurries up and looks in and he's noticed that they're boffin crock mushrooms and they're growing inside the tree. Oh. And uh, what do you get, Gil? A 12. A 12. You go over to the warg and you see it's kind of big gash in his chest and he's just... Big black four all over his body. Okay, and so it's not like special one. No, it's you kind of look and you see a kind of it's like a, a brand on just oh. above the back of its leg. And it yeah, looks sketchy, like a sketchy. pair of, it looks like a pair of nation teeth. Oh. Does anyone know what that brand means? Can we can we do any sort of checks to see if you go? Oh, what's this? Does anyone know what this means? Well, yes. That's, just, uh, that's something for the future, I suppose, isn't 
You can give me uh, yeah, someone's got old old lore. Lore. No lore check. Hey. Yeah, I have old lore old as well. Lore. Yeah. I'll give you a hand. Yeah. Two, uh, four eyes are better than two. 14 plus old three. Lore. 17. Uh, I got a 10. I'm getting no slightly help. better. I'm What's no help to though? anyone. I got a two. Well, from all is traveling, Liu Fang doesn't really recognize it, but he knows by the way it's crudely borne down that it's, it looks like it's a goblin symbol. Oh, shit. That'll be goblins, that. <laughs> Are they normally found nice. around these parts? That, um, uh, I don't know. No, there hasn't been goblins or wolves. There hasn't been the goblins or <laughs> wolves in the Shire for since the big battle of the since green the fields. Big battle of the green things. And <laughs> you just hear that echo for a second there. There was this, and it doesn't matter, but that's weird. Then, so could this I be... heard the echo, but the echo sounded better than the original speech. It's weird. <laughs> it did, though. Yeah, in fairness. Um, and the echo was coming before the speech. I don't know how that works. Which is weird, but... Uh, weird. These woods, mysterious uh, things. It's wood. that, that old wood. So would this have been, like, just bad luck, been left around here for quite some time? Own old wolf? Or it mm. could be a scout wolf. Yeah. Mm. Or it could be hunting. Or someone's been teaching an old dog new tricks. New tricks. Don't like it either way. I think we should talk to Gear. I don't know. I don't care. Just stands and looking at us, being like, <laughs> turn <laughs> around <laughs> and turn <laughs> around. Gone. <laughs> gone. Gear <laughs> is standing there and she's kind of dusting herself off, and she's a bit shake, shook, shook up because uh -huh. yeah, there hasn't been a wolf around these parts, and God knows how many years. Did you see the symbol? That looked like goblin symbol to me. She's like, <laughs> Goblin? I should know. Goblins? I've been coming to these woods for years and I've never seen a wolf here. If you weren't, why are you here? Um, we were just uh, on a hike. Give us a persuasion, yeah. persuasion check. Persuasion, eh? Well, whoever's talking, who's talking to her? Oh, that's uh, that, that's Al, Al Colbeard. That. Okay. <laughs> and then Moran, give me a persuasion check. Um, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, you're going to be shocked at this, but I didn't roll well. well. <laughs> I got a tree. <laughs> a tree? And Here, kinda, in the woods. What are the chances? Look, she goes, hiking? What's, uh, yeah. Um, why are you hiking this hour of the morning and around here? Um, as, well, the, ir <laughs> the irony is, is like, it's much more safer to do it this at this time. Uh, I'll try to change the subject and say just like uh, what, uh, did someone send you to follow me? I thought I was being no. followed I could hear like noises but that could have been the wolf I don't know but maybe it was you I don't know but it could be I, the wolf uh, I, I think it was the wolf because as you can see by my, my friend's hand axe and my carpenter's tools we're, we are actually out here to, to look for strange wood, rare wood for, for me to use in my carpentry. Lu Fang, give me a deception check. <laughs> deception. Deception cons. Yeah, I brought <laughs> the battle axe though, just in case there was trouble. But like that hand axe is definitely going to be used for wood at some point. Yeah, I got 18, 17 plus one. Yeah, she goes, ah, I, I see the tools and that's a big axe to chop down a tree. Well, I, I guess I just I'm just happy that uh, you were passing by because I could have been well. Eaten. Can I can I just ask what you know? I'm interested in wood. What um, <laughs> I bet you are being a carpenter. What um, what type of tree is this that you that you appear to be using or or getting something from? Is that is that mushrooms? Yeah, uh, this these are. Nice mushrooms that I collect from here. You don't know who I am. No, no uh, mushrooms. You're not. You're not Gerta Buffin, are you? The I am indeed. Lady. I'm uh, the, the famous Gerta Buffin, but I don't get my mushrooms from here. Are you sure? Because we did just see you get 
mushrooms from here. He kind of kicks the the basket just behind her to hide. <laughs> Oh, well, I right. checked that tree and there was normal mushrooms in there. It's because uh, I can, if you want, I, you can come back to my uh, home and I could cook you some of my stew as a thank you. It's not poison, is it? No, I've been hearing rumours that it's magic. I, I, crazy, yeah, I won't say crazy that. crazy Mrs. Roper saying there was an elf in her in the ivy the other day and then... Uh, elf. <laughs> no. An elf. And look, Van just puts his bow like behind his back. I don't <laughs> know why would anyone would say there's an elf around here. Non- nonsense. So if you want, you can come back and we can have something to eat and I can take you. That sounds great to me, guys. What do you think? Sounds good, but I can't help but feel like you're not being 100% honest about the mushrooms. Well, you just have to trust me. Well, us, uh, us <laughs> humans have, you know, <laughs> trouble trusting. So, uh, well, all I can guys? say is thank you. And if you want a good meal, like it's, she kind of looks up, but she can't see anything because of the, the canopy of things. She goes, well, I'm, it's coming up to second breakfast if you want to come back. I am. Um... Boring, knowing what's coming. I, I think it would be really rude of us not to at least escort you home. And then while we're there, if there's food going, like, um, I'd, I'd, like can, is wolf a, de- a delicacy? No, no, no one eats all right. wargs. Well, the only people that eat wargs would be probably goblins or orcs. But uh, all this fighting's got me, like, God, it's been a while. So it's got, I'm, I'm hungry, lads. So, but I'll leave it up to you. like, you know. Yeah, you're very proficient with that uh, big axe of yours. Ah, uh, it's come on. It's it, it's true what they say about uh, uh, dwarves and axes. Like you know, it's we sleep with them. You know, and I kind of like oh just elbow God. her like I'm telling a joke and smile. You just have relations yes. with axes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I I I was trying to make a joke to lighten the the the, the fact that you nearly died, but uh, yeah, feeling uh, at that too. Sorry, I'm just a bit shook up because uh, this is probably. The weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. As I said, I've been coming to these woods for years and years, and I've never even seen so much of us as a squirrel. Well, we'll... okay. So, if you've been coming to the woods for years, where have you been getting your mushrooms? Then, if not from here, that's my secret, and not yours. Well, I'd like it to be mine. We did just save your life. Well, all I can do is thank you and make you some stew. Well, if you don't want my hospitality, then I will say good day. Um, oh, I would love your hospitality. Ah, uh, ditto. Okay, guys, ignore, come on then. Ignore the man. Uh, sorry, <laughs> so I, I had a mead yesterday. It's just, you know, doesn't agree with me. I've said this before. My apologies. Right, so he's all head back and he's end up back at Garrett's house and she... Sitches around the table and she gives you some uh, buff and crock. And she's like, oh, th- thanks again. Like, I, I don't know what I would have done. It's just kind of running around my head. Um, It's best not to think about it. Just the great thing is that you're, you're, you're safe and uh, we'll look into it. Well, I'll, if I, I think we'll go back to the forest maybe in the morning and, have a look round and just make sure there isn't signs that maybe there's more wolves. Where wargs? What do you think, guys? Yeah, no. yeah, we'll have a look well, round. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of going back. But You've got us, Gil. We'll keep you safe. You, you, you did quite me, well, Gil. Gil, distracting <laughs> it with that shield now, in fairness. Thank you. I've got to say, Gil, I was very impressed with your fear of... Well, your wariness of certain animals and the way you jumped in front of that lady. I was I was very impressed. And I was so was I. To hide from <laughs> that was very brave. Oh yeah. Gil, is it? Yes, I'm Gil. You're a very brave hobbit. And I'm sure to tell everyone I meet that the brave Gil saved my life. Yes, just me. Thank I you. didn't burn anything down. That's make sure <laughs> yeah. you, you say that. Is he, is he known for that? 
No, 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 it's not. Just it's it's a it's a human thing. I apologize. He's a light, life uh, li- <clears throat> lightsaber. Uh, sa- lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So she says, oh, well, I have uh, some deliveries to do, so I'll have to say goodbye to you, but I'd be sure to tell people that I was saved by three brave... A great gill. By, and his merry men. By Gil and his company. Yes, thank you. Gil's company? We could call ourselves that. <laughs> Gil's company. It's like Tree's company. company. we could like call Like Three's ourselves. company, but with Gil. Three's <laughs> company. Yeah. So, Gil and the bastards. What, he's got, what does he want to do now? Um, Should we go back to the ivy and tell... Yes. Part of me wants to grill her over the mushrooms, but I suppose I mean, we, we just tell assume. yeah, Roper, Miss Roper. So you've a fucking so, hard on for these mushrooms, don't you? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna know, bat her until she I tells me. That's what I want to know. She she she's lying because she doesn't want other people to do it because she sells them. Yeah, but yeah. <sighs> Mrs. Roper wants we to just need, doesn't yeah, want but we just need to tell Mrs. Roper, look, this is her only income. She's an old lady. She won't live long. Let her do it. And then when she's gone, you take over. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Well, that's... Warren's in there. Where did he shagged her before? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to the PG stream, Gil? Yeah. <laughs> Shag's okay. You mean I pulled up our carpet yeah, and fixed that with... There was a hole in it. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we were saying. Recarpeted. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Two. Yeah. He just went okay. out the window. <laughs> so, so do you, do you think we need to go and see Mrs. Roper then, guys? Before she, a, you know, suppose, yeah. Like, how late? What time is it now? Uh, I say it's it's a real all morning. We just came back at field. I say it's just after lunchtime. Right, well, yeah, I suppose that that's yeah. the, the the least we can do and. And then come up with a game plan about what to decide. Well, we just had second breakfast, so it's not lunch, it's nearly brunch. Don't they have like around yeah. 50 million mm-hmm. things? Yeah. <laughs> so it's around okay. brunch, brunch time. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll pop into the into Mrs. Roper's in for a spot of brunch. Yeah. yeah. Um I I have an I have a suggestion to make. We've just had to suggest the way, Master Dwarf. Um uh I, I Again, I don't like the way that she was saying that there's not been any. Well, I did, I did like up to the, up to the battle that she was saying those woods were safe, and there's not usually wargs or goblins coming in. But I'd like to just make sure. So what I might suggest is that we go back to the forest after some food and drink and have a little scope around and just make sure that they, that was indeed a lone wolf and that there isn't anything dangerous there. That other Wasn't hobbits an, an, might accidentally bump into. Walk. <laughs> huh? Wasn't it an hour walk? We followed it for an hour. But we know the way now, so we can probably do it really, really. And quick. we don't have to be stealthy. Yeah, okay. well, just I'm going to go. I'm listen. I'm putting on my mail, so uh, just in <laughs> case we have trouble. But it's a suggestion. We don't have to do it. But okay, that's fine. I like okay, I like to get going. peace of mind. But it's up to you, gentlemen. And we are like there's three of us in it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll go there this evening We'll go and report to Mrs. Roper Let her know what we found Head back to Bilbo Go for our afternoon dinner And then go in the dark To the Get woods Great idea. And then Go in the dark, into the woods Into the danger <laughs> to go and see what's going on Or we can wait till the morning Or we can wait till the morning Let's back go and to... see Mrs. Roper Yeah right, So he's got to the ivy You leave Mrs. Boffin She's all thank yous and all that and shaking your hands and she goes off and does her deliveries and you just head to the Ivy and Mrs. Roper is cooking up a big pot of stew in the back with her fixed pots. 
chuffed with herself. Mm-hmm. And she sees us coming in. She goes, ah, you are back. So, so what happened? Tell me. Oh, my God. You don't, you would not believe what happened to us. Tell them, Luke Fang. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we, we followed her into the woods. And uh, she's getting mushrooms from, from somewhere. But I'll tell you what. Gil made you a map to where she went. Didn't you, Gil? 50 quid. <laughs> well, no, that wasn't part of the deal. The deal no, was, it's he's got two silver each. He's already got one. So have you any information for me? Um, Gil gets the map out. He says, here's the map. This is where it is. But this is her only income. Is it really fair to take that away from her just because you like the soup? No, as I said, this is just in case she dies one day and nobody knows where these mushrooms grow. So you're going to keep this safe and away from people? You're not going to show anyone else for now? No, I, I'll i make a promise to you now that when she takes a box out and she goes, if you put it in this box, I'll lock it. And when the day comes... When I, I kill her, I mean, when she does. <laughs> I will open it again, and okay. then I will, only me, I will be the one that will go to wherever the place is. And that well, about, about that, though. That, well, I, 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 I agree, that's fine, and I trust you, but there's, there's, a, there's a problem. It what? might not be a problem, Gil. Yeah, mate, we're we, gonna we're gonna investigate it and have a look in the morning. Shall we finish our investigation before? Uh, my wife, but what happened? Well, there was a there was a there was an animal out there. Uh, an animal. A giant ferret. Gil scared it off, uh, which is great, or else one of us would have been nasty bit. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't. It was dangerous, but you know. You probably would be okay, but what we're going to do, we're going to check if there's a nest, and if so... Luckily, a nest of ferrets? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. So, yeah. what, so what we'll do, luckily, one of our other jobs that we've all got for some reason is that we're actually pest control as well. So we're just going to have a little check, make sure everything's okay. Any issues, we'll come back and we'll let you know. Yeah, that's the owls. That's fine. So she, owls will be fine. If there's owls, it's fine. We'll have a hoot. She opens the box and she goes, "Well, put the map in there, and I lock it." And she shows the lock, and you gotta put it in. Put it in. Put your big map in me box. And okay, ooh matron. She closes it, locks the lock, and she puts it back onto the counter. And she goes, "There, that's it." And she gives you zero. One more silver each, and she goes, "Well, you have a free night of eating and drinking here for whatever." Is one come should, by? Should, should we have kept that map to find our way back there? I'm sure. I made, made a I, I made a call. I made a Lauren call. made a mental map. Remember? Yeah. Oh, great! I also I, I made of a dwarf. I I use um, tracing paper. It's this new thing I invented. Wow! What does it do? <laughs> invented. It's basically, I scribble on one side of a piece of paper, lots, yeah. and then when I draw on the other side, it imprints on the paper underneath. I'm going to call it gill sort of, paper. That's some sort of witchcraft, surely. No, it's just Is science. that some kind of wizardy science. thing? It's just science. It's a I word just... I invented. I've never, I've never met a guy called that. <laughs> science? I've heard of Simon. No. Science. Are you related? Or are you saying yeah. signs like big giant like signs? Silence. Let's I'm saying that. silence. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go then. So where he's gone? To the woods. Well, it's late woods. now, isn't it? No, it's only brunch Ow. mid midday. Midday. If we can get there do quicker we... than an hour, sure, we'll okay. go back. We have do you want to? Do, um, do you want to head back and get your armor or? Yes, Lu Fang, that is a great idea. Um, I will go back and get my armor, just in case there is trouble. How okay. far was the ivy from Bilbo's? Wasn't that a day? That's not, no. No. The ivy is only literally at the bottom of the hill. Oh, sound. Let's go back then. 
Let's go and grab. Do you grab think you've been traveling like a day to the pub? <laughs> <Take back. laughs> <laughs> That's really cardio. Up that drink of water, don't you? <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, this is the one we had to go to the water to. And... No, but that was that was that was, uh, that was the um, one party. The walking party. Yeah. Yeah. That was in okay, so That's... We've been in so many pubs, I can't <laughs> remember. <laughs> where <they are. laughs> right, okay. Let's go then. Let's go and get our gear. Mm-hmm. Gear up. Get back to the woods. Find where we were. Investigate. So you go up, put your gear on, you just head back. In a montage. Montage! It's a montage! (laughs) Rocky is montage! (laughs) And you make it back to the woods in, say, an hour. Because you know the way. So we've got all of our gear now. I've got my rope and all that. Yeah. Yeah. You just have your adventures pack. You have your swords, your shields, whatever. I had exactly what I had last time. You bring everything (laughs) you can He's a proper tilled up. Proper, proper yeah. tilled up. <laughs> and he's go back into proper the woods. Tools. And what are you going to head back to the, the clearing, is it? Three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll head to the clearing. Well, you know you're the way now, and you just kind of figure out a, a quicker way because she was kind of trying to put you off and going left and right yeah. and up and down and all this. Yeah. And Obviously, that. this is the tree we crossed before. No, I think if we go right at this tree, we'll get right to it. So he's making back. Let's go. And you're back at the clearing, and the dead wolf is still on the ground. So, what do you want to do? Um, I look for tracks. Isn't that how it's done? You're the hunter. You're the hunter. Well, you a hunting. You only dabble. Hunting check. I'm no reader. What if, what if I was to check the local nature? Will a nature check help me in any way? Yeah, you can nature check if you want. I'm gonna take this one. Twice. The good. Eleven plus four, fifteen nature. I got eleven on hunting. And are you doing anything, no, Gail, or are you just hanging back? I'm just hanging back. Is what's your strongest perception type, Lee? Perception. Have you got like a not perception necessarily, but have you got anything like that that can help? So look. Um, insight, investigation, stealth, and travel are my best. Things. I'd do an investigation then while you're here. Might find something. Okay. No, we don't. Okay, so it's in. T- well, it's, so it's just plus four, plus two, four, five, six. So I'll do a. Six, seven, eight, nine. I said no. <laughs> I'm just looking around like an idiot going, no. Oh, just the nice pebbles. Oh, question, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice leaf. <laughs> right, so you see. Not that many tracks from the wolf because they're fairly stealthy. But you <laughs> see, you knew the direction you were coming from, which was the far side yeah. of the tree. So yeah. Moran goes over and kind of has a look. He sees a broken twig here and there, but it's just more. Obviously, it came from the north. And Liu Fang, his nature thing, he. Can we check the mushrooms and see if they are boffins, crook mushrooms? Is someone going to climb up into the tree? Well, I'm not a very good climber. Um, I'm not good myself. Uh, Athletics. Athletics. Oh, my athletics isn't too bad. I'll take take an athletics. I can give you a boost. Let me see what I get, and then you might be able to boost me. Oh, 18 plus 2, 20. Right. right, so, so I Liu... passed my nature, didn't I, and my athletics. So. Yeah, Liu Fang kind of flips up into the tree. <laughs> 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 and lands at the, the, hole, the hole and he kind of sticks his hand in and has a look and fiddles around and he takes out one of the, the mushrooms and, yeah, it's one of the buff and crux mushrooms. I knew it! it was lying. That lion old woman! <laughs> and... Give me an athletics check to get out of the tree. Gil and Martin are just looking at me. Did you <laughs> see him flip up that two. tree? <laughs> that was amazing, but I don't think there's any evidence that there's a goblin army up in that tree, but anyway. So, what if you do that? I, again, I just it? wanted to know if she was lying. 18, yeah. 18, ah, 18. again. Blue Fang does a big backflip and lands exactly. in between the two lads and goes, <laughs> Wow! <laughs> mushrooms! <laughs> That's impressive. 
welcome. So you stick around with that. <laughs> There's no more tracks around, so this was just a lone wolf. Or it could have been a scout, but it was by itself anyway. Well, yeah. gentlemen, do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to head north and have a little bit of a look? Or do you want to go back to the, the Bilbo's? He did say a couple of days. Can I just point out that um, Mrs. Roper didn't pay us? You gave us the one extra silver. She did. She did. Did she? You just have to go back to a night of drinking and eating. <clears throat> yeah, that's all we just. No, she gave I wouldn't us have one given silver, it that. but she offered us two. Oh. She offered us Another two, one? so she needs to give us a second one, doesn't she, for giving her the map? No, she gave you one before to go to the market, remember? And yeah. One now. And yeah, then we'll give her one after. Yeah, because she wouldn't, because I wouldn't give her the map. She said, well, you won't get your silver if you don't give the map. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, I don't remember giving you the map. I just want to go back sorry. to Bilbo's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd love to continue and see if there's there's a, there's a goblin army in here, but I'll go with the group. Whatever you just want to do. Well, there's no evidence that there's a goblin army anywhere. <laughs> well, you know, like more more goblins and 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 wargs. But yeah, you then we'll, we'll head back. To You're just getting the bloodlust back. Uh, yeah, I just I'm sure it's fine. I just I'm remembering my youth. It's been a while since I took down a, a and I slapped the. The, the dead beastie but yeah we'll head back i'm just uh the old adventure in me wanting more i must admit it was quite quite thrilling but an arrow straight in between its eyes i think my life flashed before my eyes and i wasn't <laughs> impressed so right so you just head back and you just get the bag end and it's what evening time now and just go in, and again, there's a table full of food set out for you. Bilbo still nowhere to be seen. So you sit down and eat. We will leave it there. So to be continued. <laughs>